I'd like people to take away one thing that they would do differently as a result of coming to one of my presentations. Because if they do, then I know I've not wasted their time. I, I like to be inquisitive, and I'm hoping that when people leave, they'll have more questions, maybe than answers, because it's all about exploring. So I, I get a really good feeling when people will walk away and say, you know what, I'm going to do something different because I was here today. Uh, the biggest thing I want them to take away is, is that they're in control. You're in control of your own destiny, whether it's financial, whether it's your employment, whether it's your personal life. I always guide myself by what I call the five F's in my life, and that's family, friends, fitness, finance, and the faith to believe that, that you can go and be the best you can be. It doesn't mean you have to go out there and be the best, but you get to be the best you can be. You know, I've never found an audience that I haven't enjoyed. I, I love an audience that's engaged. So as long as they're engaged, and you, you can tell, you can tell it in a heartbeat. And I will do everything I can to help people become engaged. But at the end of the day, if they're not, then it's really hard to change that. So I've never really met an audience that I haven't had fun with. You know, it's really important to me to have a, a dialogue with the group that would like you to come in, find out what it is they're after, what they want to accomplish, why did they choose you in the first place, and, and sit down and talk about the points that they'd like to take. Um, I like to tell stories. I like to have fun. I don't like to use overheads or, or graphics because I really want to just connect sort of, it may be a large group, but I'd like to think I'm speaking to one person in that room. And, and so the more pre uh, work that you do with the organization, the better the end result. Well, I think the most memorable event was speaking to a group of marketing executives where uh, I was filling in for a very big name and uh, she was caught in uh, a snowstorm in Chicago. And, and so I kind of felt a little out of my element and I kind of thought I might be disappointing the group. Halfway through my presentation, I noticed half the heads were down and they were on their Blackberries and I truly thought I had lost the audience. And, and it was a horrible feeling. So I kept trying to up my game and, and up my game and trying to get them more engaged and I did every single thing I could and then when I left I couldn't wait to get out of there I thought well you know what I guess you can't win them all and then the organizer came up to me and she said you know you just killed that event and I kind of thought about it and I went killed it and she said well yeah look at these tweets and and I was amazed and one it was a a, a wide eye opening moment where I realized social media plays such an important role and a very powerful role but I also realized that that you you know there are so many different ways to gauge how well a presentation goes sometimes people will walk away and they'll think hmm, that wasn't all that great I didn't get anything out of it and three months later they'll send you an email and they'll say you know what I was wrong this is what I got out of your presentation and I want to say thank you it doesn't get better than that